Hi guys, it's Becky from InferentlyCreative.net and today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial for how to make some DIY wood arrows. I've made a ton of these. I have them on nearly every gallery wall. It is a great filler of space on your walls and they're so simple to make out of scraps. So I'm going to show you how it's done on the saw. Okay, so I usually end up ripping the middle part between a half an inch to an inch wide. You can see the difference. This is a half inch and then this is an inch wide. So for today's purposes, I'm gonna make a smaller arrow. So I've set my blade already to a half of an inch. So all of the angles that I'm gonna be cutting are at a 35 degree angle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just, I just already created kind of a stop block cause I'm gonna work on right now that the tail end of the arrow. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna line up your scrap piece of wood and then you're gonna clamp it to your saw so that you can get the same consistent cut every single time. And now I just have this scrap piece of wood. That, this was also cut at a 35 degree angle and so I'm gonna go ahead and cut the point of the arrow with this. So I'm gonna keep it at the same 35 degree angle that looks about right of where I'm gonna cut it. So I'll go ahead and do that. Now I have my point and then I have all of the tail and for the middle piece, I'm just gonna again, just guess about how long I want the arrow to be. So maybe right here. But before I do that, I had to change my um, saw to make sure that I'm cutting at a zero degree angle and not a 35 degree angle anymore. Okay, so I have all my pieces cut. I'm gonna go back over to my work table and I'm gonna show you how to put it together. Okay, so here's all my pieces and they're already um, sanded and ready to go. So what I like to do is just take a piece of wax paper and put it on my table. And then you're just gonna start gluing. So you kinda wanna just find the best side of all of your pieces. So I start with the tail and I'm just gonna put a little glue on it. If you get too much, just use your wax paper to dab a little bit of off and just go ahead and, and squeeze the pieces together. And then you put the point on. And there is your basic arrow. So what I usually do is I usually take a Q-tip and just kind of clean off all the glue so it'll dry nicely. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry for an hour. So I like to use chalk paint just because you don't have to use a primer on it. It's really easy to use. And usually it, it, it's two coats and you're good to go. So you're just gonna go ahead and paint on your chalk paint. So I just finished the first coat on this arrow. I'm gonna let it dry and add one more. And then you're gonna have a nice finish on, on these arrows. So what I love to do is use them on my gallery walls because they fill in space very nicely. The easiest thing to do is to use the 3M command strips and just stick them on the wall.